Believe it or not, one of the most iconic warplanes in military history got its start not in some secretive, high-tech lab, but in a regular hotel room in Dayton, Ohio. A group of Boeing engineers grab supplies from a local hobby store, holed up in the Van Cleve Hotel, and whipped up a scale model using balsa wood. The result? A rough prototype that laid the groundwork for a subsonic beast that would redefine long-range bombing. Just goes to show sometimes greatness starts with glue, wood shavings, and way too much room service. From drawing board to Cold War dominance, the B-52 didn't just stumble into fame. It was born out of military ambition and Cold War panic. In the aftermath of World War II, the U.S. needed a new bomber that could fly faster, hit harder, and travel farther without needing to refuel. Boeing answered the call, delivering a machine that could hit 500 miles per hour and carry 10,000 pounds of mixed munitions, all while cruising at 34,000 feet. As tensions rose with the Soviet Union, the B-52 became more than just an aircraft, it was a flying warning sign that said, don't mess with us. It outsprinted early jet doubts. When the Air Force was choosing engines for this airborne giant, debates got heated, like family dinner politics heated. One camp wanted to play it safe with turboprops, while others insisted on the future. Turbojets. Ultimately, the gamble paid off. Boeing's turbojet power design delivered the speed and power that set the B-52 apart. And let's not forget the seating drama. While some suggested tandem seats, like stacking pilots in a bunk bed, common sense prevailed side-by-side -side seating won the day, keeping pilots alert and less prone to air-based claustrophobia. Jets set around the globe literally. In 1957, three B-52s made aviation history during Operation Power Flight. These jet bombers flew non-stop around the world, covering 24,000, 325 miles in just over 45 hours. That wasn't just a PR stunt, it was a message to every other military superpower. The US had global reach, and it could deliver firepower anywhere on the planet. One of the stops? Nowhere. Because they didn't land. The mission proved that the B-52 wasn't just powerful, it was an endurance machine with wings. The workhorse with serious muscle. Nicknamed the buff big ugly fat fellow, or a less polite version, depending on who you ask, the B-52 earned its nickname with pride. This airborne tank carried conventional and nuclear payloads across continents. By the 1960s, it had been upgraded with the Pratt & Whitney TF-33P3 engines, boosting its speed to 650 miles per hour and flight range to a whopping 8,800 miles. Add in the M61 Vulcan rotary cannon and terrain-following radar, and you had an aircraft that could sneak, strike, and survive even in hostile skies. This terrain-hugging ability allowed the buff to fly low under radar detection essential for Cold War-era surprise attacks. And despite its size, the aircraft could launch from a wide range of bases, giving the U.S. unmatched global reach. It wasn't just a bomber, it was a statement of muscle, and might that echoed across enemy airspace. Not just old, gold. While newer stealth bombers like the B-2 Spirit were busy flexing their billion-dollar price tags and complicated maintenance schedules, the B-52 quietly maintained an 80.5% readiness rate. Compare that to the B-2's embarrassing 30.3%, it's like comparing a reliable pickup truck to a luxury sports car that refuses to start in the rain. The buff's simplicity and durability made it the military's go-to bomber during conflicts like Operation Iraqi Freedom, where its ability to drop precise payloads kept it relevant on the battlefield. Its modular systems made maintenance faster and more affordable, helping the Air Force keep it airborne with fewer headaches. And because it was designed with longevity in mind, upgrades could be bolted on without needing full redesigns. In the world of military aviation, it's not always about being the newest. It's about being ready when it counts. Upgrades that keep it deadly. Think the B-52 is stuck in the past? Think again. The Air Force has steadily modernized it, transforming this Cold War relic into a 21st century threat. In recent years, they'd swapped out outdated pods for state-of-the-art Lockheed Sniper and Northrop Grumman Lightning targeting systems, turning the aircraft into a precision strike platform. It's like slapping a laser scope on a tank and it works. 
Whether it's low-altitude stealth missions or high-precision strikes, the B-52 is still pulling its weight like a seasoned champion. These targeting pods offer enhanced electro-optical sensors, infrared cameras, and laser designation for pinpoint accuracy. The updates also give pilots the ability to track multiple moving targets simultaneously a game-changer in modern combat scenarios. Integration with newer smart munitions has also allowed the B-52 to conduct surgical strikes with minimal collateral damage. In short, it's become the Swiss Army knife of bombers, old-school hardware with a high-tech twist, hypersonic dreams and heavy-duty wings. Even as new stealth bombers enter the scene, the B-52 refuses to be left behind. Boeing's introduction of the heavy external rack pylon allows each wing to carry up to 20,000 pounds of ordnance, yes, per wing. That means room for massive payloads, including potential hypersonic missiles that could hit targets at five times the speed of sound. While the AGN-183, a program, was sadly cut in 2025, the B-52's new pylons are locked and loaded for the next generation of weapons. It's like giving your grandpa a rocket launcher he might be old, but he's still got it. These racks are designed to handle the evolving size and weight of future weapons, including next-gen long-range strike systems. Engineers also optimize the pylons for aerodynamic efficiency, meaning they won't drag the aircraft down like a bulky backpack. Their modular design allows easy integration of experimental weapons, keeping the aircraft combat ready in any theater. So while the B-52 might not be the stealthiest bird in the sky, it's definitely the one packing the most firepower, the nuclear comeback kid. As if flying for over 70 years wasn't enough, the B-52 is now back in the nuclear game. A proposal to outfit the B-52J variant with the stealthy AGM-181 long-range standoff missile is already in motion. This high-tech cruise missile would allow the buff to deliver nuclear payloads from far outside enemy airspace, making it a vital player in America's nuclear triad once again. Forget retirement, the B-52 is brushing off its Cold War tuxedo and heading back to the front lines with a nuclear upgrade that screams, still not done. The AGM-181 long-range standoff is designed to penetrate the toughest air defenses, giving the U.S. a strategic advantage without putting pilots directly in harm's way. With a range expected to exceed 1,500 miles, the missile could be launched from safe distances, far from enemy radar. Integrating this weapon ensures the B-52 remains relevant in an age dominated by precision and stealth. It's not just about nostalgia, it's a practical, powerful solution for a modern military threat landscape. Proof that legends never die. At the end of the day, the B-52 Strato Fortress isn't just a bomber, it's a survivor. First flown in an era of rotary phones and Elvis Presley, this aircraft has outlasted multiple generations of jets, presidents, and musical trends. Thanks to the 2025 upgrade plan, including the powerful Rolls-Royce F-130 engines, modern radar, streamlined avionics, and next-gen weaponry, the B-52 is now expected to stay in service until at least 2050 nearly a full century after its first flight. In a world dominated by stealth and speed, the B-52 proves that brains, brawn, and brilliant engineering never go out of style. These upgrades mean faster response times, longer flight durations, and more efficient fuel use critical in today's budget-conscious defense environment. The new radar system enhances target detection and jamming resistance, making the old warbird even harder to fool. Combined with its vast weapons versatility and low operating cost, the B-52 still provides unmatched strategic value. It's the military's version of a classic rock band always touring, always relevant, and somehow still getting better with age. If you found the story of the B-52 as jaw-dropping as its payload, don't forget to hit that like button. Want more deep dives into the world's most legendary machines? Got thoughts on the B-52's future? Drop a comment, we read them all. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and your engines roaring.